Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here at Baxter Cycle in the mighty metropolis of Marnie, Iowa. And look what they have got laid out for us today. I call this the Hunter Scepter. It's actually a Royal Enfield Hunter 350. Absolutely beautiful motorcycle, one of my favorite ones to ride. And we're gonna go take that hot rod for a spin. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. Listen to that power. If you all are in the market for a newer used Royal Enfield Triumph, classic British bike of any type, get yourself over here to Baxter Cycle, Marnie, Iowa, BaxterCycle.com. They can help you out. They've got all the gear, accessories, boots, backpacks, everything you could ever imagine. So this little hot rod, Royal Enfield Hunter, or Hunter Scepters, I like to call it, I think it's the sportiest of the 350s that Royal Enfield makes. Well, period. I think it's actually one of the sportiest bikes out there in a 350. Anyway, 20 horsepower, 20 foot-pounds of torque. That's about 27 Newton meters. Five-speed transmission, one of the slickest five-speeds out there, I think. Has a wet weight of 399 pounds. That's about 181 kilograms. Very light. Traffic in Marnie, Iowa. What is going on? 54.7 inch wheelbase, I believe. I think that's 1,370 millimeters. Look at this, just spins around like a dream. Just spins around like a dream. I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> hot rod, hot rod. Beautiful, beautiful. Very good pep here, huh? Look at that. Wahoo! I love riding these things. I call this the Hunter Scepter. Reminds me a lot of an Interceptor, handling wise and looks wise both. Just a beautiful little machine. The sportiest of the 350s, of course. Just a treat to ride. <laughs> this is the famous South Marnie, by the way. Beautiful pickup, isn't it? I just love this thing. And look how nimble this thing is. It just turns around in its own shadow. Look, look at that. Just spin, spin, spin. No problems at all. Excellent brakes. I think it's a 300 millimeter disc on the front, single disc with a dual pot vibrate. And I believe it's a 270 millimeter single pot vibrate on the rear. ABS front and rear, of course. They work beautifully. I like them. I like them. This is the part of the uh, ride where we usually say, let's make some noise. Let's do that. Wahoo! Beautiful, beautiful. I love that analog speedometer. Just love it. In the little center section, there's the LCD screen. That has a fuel meter, fuel gauge, a gear indicator, a clock, and of course the odometer. Plus using this button over here, you can put trip A or trip B. Very nice. Hey, let's turn around here. Let's get back to town. I'm worried about rain. We've got kind of a rainy day in our forecast here, so I don't want to get too far away. Look at how quickly, look at how good that thing turns. What a hoot. Seat height is 31.1 inches. That's about 790 millimeters. Ground clearance is 5.9 inches, I believe. That's about 150 millimeters. This thing is an absolute ball to ride. If you have not ridden one of these, you if you haven't ridden any of the 350s, ride this one first if you like sporty uh, feeling bikes. I love the way these handle. It's got 17 inch tires front and rear. It's a very good balance. Very light feeling. Just the best one, I think, as far as handling goes. Let's do the famous spin test up here. Hill spin test. Make sure nobody's coming. <laughs> Look at that, look at that, just spins right around, just spins right around in its own shadow. What a dream, what a dream. I if you all can tell, but I like this bike. If you're ever in Marty, get yourself down here to the derailed grill. Good eats, good eats. Hey, we went to South Marnie, let's go to East Marnie. I'll show you East Marnie. The famous East Side. Okay, we are there, by golly. We are in East Marnie, check it out. Bales of hay, a soybean field, a little creek down yonder. Wahoo! <laughs> what a grin this thing is. This thing is just a ball. So this one's had some extras added to it. 
It's got bar end mirrors and adapters right there. It's got this little fly screen and a seat, and I'll show you the seat when we get stopped. It's got this really cool little after add on seat. Hey, I missed my turn. That takes us out of uh, Marnie. We are actually in the very north edge of Marnie right now. So we've gone from South Marnie to East Marnie, all the way up to North Marnie, about as far north in Marnie as you can go. I love this little hot ride. Anyway, uh, just a, a barrel of monkeys fun to ride. I know, let's take this other road that we never take. We were gonna give you the grand tour of Marnie. How's that sound? Uh, Baxter Cycle has a plethora of accessories for this bike, including an incredibly cool well, different pipes, but the one I like the most as far as looks and sound go are the, uh, is the uh, Diabolo or Diabolo or something like that. You know what? I don't think that's a road. <laughs> Your tour guide is lost. How's that sound? This is a road. We'll just go slow. I don't want to get the bike dusty. They've also got tank pads, engine guards, foot pegs, all the good stuff. What is this back here? Well, we are making our way to the uh, deepest, darkest parts of Marnie. Dun, dun, dun. Look for Bigfoot. Keep your eyes out. He's around here somewhere by gully. And now we are in South Marnie. The beginnings of South Marnie. Heading our way over to West Marnie. This is corn on the, on the left. That's corn ready to harvest about. There is Motorcycle Park on the left. Okay, let's get ourselves down to South Marnie. This thing just is a hoot to ride. I, just, I love riding these bikes. I just love it. I've got a 350 Classic myself, and uh, it's just a, a ball on any kind of surface. And so are these. A friend of mine has one of these. He put dirt bike tires on it. I think we did a video about it. And it's just, I, I took it on a several miles of gravel and through a park and just had all kinds of fun with it. What a grin. What an absolute grin. Well, this is South Marnie. We've seen all of Marnie now. North, east, west, and south. You know what? Let's go park this bike, and I will tell you all about it. This is a real ball. There's the famous Baxter cycle. Of course, I can't. <laughs> Don't want to get off the bike, so, you know, here we go again. Jump, and you jump, jump, bump, bump. Huh? What do you think of that hot rod? It's a... Uh... Got a nifty little size, it's small, it's easy to sit on, it's narrow, it's low to the ground. Like I said, 31.1 uh, inch seat, 790 millimeters. Look at that, isn't that just good looking? It's got this beautiful little front tire here, 100 by 80, 17. Mag wheel, tubeless tire. There's a 300 millimeter disc, ABS, dual pot vibri. On the rear, it's got the 140, 70, 17. Again, the mag wheel, 270 millimeter disc on the back single pod vibri. Rear suspension is about uh, four inches. It's 102 millimeters. Front suspension, it's got 41 millimeter forks. Front suspension is 5.1 inches. It's about 130 millimeters. That's pretty darn good, isn't it? I just love the way that looks. It's just very well done on their part. We talked about the wheelbase, 53.9 inches. That's about 1,370 millimeters. This bike does come with a center stand. It also has uh, the five-speed transmission. Now, if you look at this, the Meteor has its foot pegs over here. My classic 350 has its foot pegs right about here. These have them set back. And that adds to the uh, sportiness of this little hot rod. The other thing to look at, and let's get on the other side and do that, is if uh, you look at the frame, on the other two, on the Meteor and on the classic, the frame continues downwards here. This is very hot and connects back over here. On this bike, there is no frame below the engine. And so not only is the bike lower, but the center of gravity is doing This whole mass area is dropped down a little bit. And I think that adds a lot to the handling as well. Plus a little more suspension on the rear. They've done a really good job with that. So it's a 349cc uh, single overhead cam, about nine and a half to one compression. Puts out about 20 horsepower, 20 foot pounds of torque. All that torque is way at the bottom. I mean, this thing is made for the bottom as far as torque goes. That's about 27 Newton meters, by the way. I think I said the weight already, 399 pounds. 181 kilograms. Oh, the gas tank, three and a half gallon gas tank. It's about 13 liters, plenty of gas. These bikes, uh, I've been getting about 60 on that one. High 50s is 60 and that's quite a bit bigger. These, on my 350, I get in the low 60s. Uh, people have been claiming they've getting as much as uh, 80 miles an hour, you know, when they're driving them sensibly, I guess. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about the styling here. First off, the add-ons. They put this fly screen on here, I like that. 
Royal Enfield bar end mirrors. I love these mirrors, of course, and these little attaching points here. Now this, these are my Royal Enfield gloves that I'm very proud of. Let's just throw those over yonder. But look at the seat. This is an add-on seat. It says custom, Royal Enfield. Royal Enfield on the back. Got the red uh, stitching right here. This is a different material here than it is here. Just very well done. I just really like this. But uh, what I like to point out to people here is the line. So we've got this kind of a bulbous, long, elongated tank, kind of like an interceptor tank, inset here. But these details kind of flow very well, you know. They've got a really good, I don't know how to express that, I guess. And if you look at the side covers, it really continues. Very well done on their part, you know. I think it, I think it continues all the way through the back. And I like the way they've done, you know, what they've done with the shorty muffler right there. Just very well done. Very well done all the way around. Look at that. And that, you know, even the back end's nice. And these here are actually solid. These are cast metal grab bars. Very solid. Just a beautiful little machine, isn't it? I like it. You know what we didn't talk about on the ride was the dash. Switch gear and dash. So the clutch. And I always point out these levers. I love these Royal Enfield levers. They've got a good sweep to them. They've got a, they're, they're wider through here than they are here. They've got this nice radius on the end. Very well done. Hopping up here, information button. The pass to flash, flash to pass button here. Low beam, high beam, blinkers and horn. On this side, it's the kill switch, run switch, start switch, hazard lights, fuel of course, and then the brake. Now jumping up here, this is kind of cool. The Oculus on this thing. I like the simplicity of this thing. So you've got the analog gauge on the outside. Now check this out on the inside. You've got little lights down here, fuel light, battery light, engine light, ABS light. But look in the center. All everything is kind of centralized in that little dollar coin size thing. You got the fuel gauge on the outside, the time, the gear indicator, always visible gear indicator, always visible uh, time, always visible fuel gauge. You don't have to fiddle with this for anything except for trip A, trip B, and back to odometer. So you know all your information right there all the time. I like that a lot. And I love the way that these end caps are finished on this bike. Everything's kind of neatly finished right through here. Very well done. Very well done. Uh, one of the key features of this bike that I always forget to mention, oh, besides the fact that it has a USB port right here, <laughs> I got to make sure and show that because everybody asked me about that. One of the key features I always forget to mention, and I think it's very important on this motorcycle. So the bike, I think, is $39.99 plus um, some setup fee. I'll put the price right here. But something to know is for that price, you get a three year unlimited mile warranty, unlimited miles for three years with roadside assistance. And that, you know, that really says a lot about Royal Enfield. And something I want to throw in on top of that, I've got two Royal Enfields of my own. I bought this one over here new. I've got almost 22,000 miles on this bike in the last two years with nary a problem. It's just been a great motorcycle. I can't say enough good about them. I've got a 350, has the same engine, transmission. I don't know if the chassis is the same, it has a different style to it, but it's the same. You know, this part's the same. And I've got about 6,000 miles on that thing, and I've just had an absolute ball in it without a lick of problem at all. It's just been a, an absolute hoot to run, hoot to ride. I take it on gravel, I take it on pavement, I take it everywhere. Just a beautiful machine. If y'all are interested in something like this, a new or used Royal Enfield, Triumph, classic British bike of any type, need parts, accessories, shirts, bags, shoes, anything at all, get yourself over to BaxterCycle.com or get yourself over here to Marnie, Baxter Cycle at Marnie, Iowa. Exit 51, I think it is, Interstate 80 here in Iowa. Now it looks like it's gonna rain and I need to get myself home before that happens. So I'm gonna hop on my bike and ride. Wahoo!